in 1982, George Shultz said, you must do an opera. And I said, you know, it's not for me. I don't really understand opera. And then in 1994, he was asked to conduct Traviata. And he said, I have never conducted La Traviata. You have never directed it. Together we'll make something good. So George was so powerful at the time, and rightly so, that he had design approval. And I found myself with Richard in uh, Sir George's study. And so I said to him, what do you want to see on stage? And he came back to me with those amazing eyes of his, and he went, I want big frocks. <laughs> we approached it actually as we would approach a play and said, well, what is the meaning of this? The Schulte wanted it in its period, but we moved it later. And we talked a lot about what happens during the first act. I remember Richard describing the movement of Act One as being like a huge social vortex all around Violetta, with all these hangers on, these people who don't really give it a for her. We developed this idea of the room containing this sort of crucible of drink and sex and money in this, and then, boom, they're empty and she's alone. It's a set that accommodates a lot of people and can make a big statement and then shrink away to nothing. So I think the image of her in that room on her own is just perfect, really, with the music, the loneliness of it. In the second act, Bob gave the sense of a room that was half decorated and a long table, which is preposterous for two people. So they were sort of playing at grown-ups. I thought, well, when they moved to the country, wouldn't it be rather nice if they were kind of trying to do their first house up together, you know? And a new start, a new beginning, and then you just take everything away for the last act. You get the sense of intense loneliness and also that time is running out. <laughs> to me, it's wonderful to have a 25-year-old production that is faithfully reproduced. And I feel immensely proud. There's something very reassuring about seeing something that has lasted like this. I mean, nothing in my life has lasted this long. I'm always just very grateful that it's on and it always looks fantastic.